lot of people reaching out, trying to find out exactly why I left eXp Realty. So in this video today, we're gonna go over exactly why I left eXp Realty. Let's be real, eXp Realty is a phenomenal company. I was happy with them for the three plus years I was with them, and I was happy with them even before I left. Even after some of the you know, nonsense, the shenanigans I've been dealing with after I left the XP Realty, I still think it's a good, a great brokerage, right? And there's some things that do need to be changed up, but it's okay, it's still an amazing opportunity. It's the number one largest independent brokerage in the world and in 24 different countries, all right? So it's an amazing brokerage. But just because I was happy with the, you know, with the brokerage and it was amazing for me, doesn't mean that it was amazing for everybody else. And that's really what led me to leaving eXp Realty. So for those of you that are not familiar with eXp Realty, it's the first cloud brokerage that I ever opened up, right? And what that means is before eXp Realty, you had your typical brick and mortar broker uh, brokerage where you had your office, spa uh, office space, right? And then the splits were tremendous, like just horrendous. And you sometimes they even had no caps, right? And eXp Realty came along and their compensation model was much more favorable for the agent because it was a cloud brokerage. So meaning they had no brick and mortar, so less overhead for the actual brokerage. So what that did was it allowed agents to have a little more flexibility in regards to the commission. And you know the, their model was 80-20 with a $16,000 cap, which is definitely fair in my opinion. But just like how eXp Realty came out to improve the past models, there were other brokerages coming out that improvised and improved upon eXp's model. And one of them that came out um, that has been around for eight, nine years, right, real, um, they, you know, there were people definitely trying to recruit me from eXp to join real. But the way I looked at real, the model itself was too similar in regards to eXp Realty, and it really didn't make sense for me to make that switch. Um, but with this new brokerage that I joined, LPT Realty, it was a completely different model in regards to the, you know, the passive income opportunities and as well the way they structure their compensation plan. And to top it off, all the additional tools and as well marketing that they were given to agents for absolutely free that would normally cost an agent 11 plus thousand dollars a year was phenomenal. And if you want to learn more about that, click on the link above. Um, but let's dive into why, you know, I left the XP Realty. The way I was looking at it, it was, it was great for me. I hit Icon Agent multiple times. Um, so to, to give you a better backstory, right, I joined in August 2019 and I hit Icon Agent multiple times since joining then. So I've gotten back my $16,000 back in stocks. And that was one of the main reason on why I actually joined eXp Realty back in August, 2019. I love the idea of building up a nest egg of stock to retire with. So with their agent equity program, what they were allowing you to do was essentially every deal you closed, 5% of your GCI can purchase eXp stocks at 10% off. So you were always going to be above the market. Right, and then they also had another passive income opportunity, which was revenue share, where if you sponsor agents down to tier seven, seven levels, like a multi-level marketing, right, you would get compensated by the company. And you know, I really joined for the stocks at first, and then as I as I got more and more experience, agents were joining, and I started reaping the benefits of revenue share as well. But it was phenomenal for me. I was looking at it in a way. What about for all the other agents, the 88 to 90 something percent that fail within the first two years, just because you know the failure rate is so high and I think a lot of it also has to do with not agents not getting enough time in the business to get their business rolling, um, especially if they're putting in the work and all these fees start adding up, right? So I've witnessed personally newer agents come and go you know they would join exp realty and then they would leave to go join like a hundred percent commission model they would get their business established and then they would come back to join exp realty once their business was established right so 
for me, I was really looking at it in a way where now these newer agents have a better shot with this new model at LPT Realty. The first hybrid model that offers you option between 100% commission or the 80-20 with a $15,000 cap, right? With both compensation plan, there's no monthly fees, there's no sign up fees, there's no tech fee, no desk fee, anything like that. And to make it even better, under the business builder, which is the 100% model, you only had to pay up to a $5,000 cap and it's 500 per transaction. So 10 deals and you call it a day. That to me was an amazing opportunity for other agents to be able to grow their business while still getting the support and everything else that comes along with a great brokerage like the tech and tools that they provide. And the reality is this, the $16,000 cap at eXp Realty to me was quite fair and I've gotten it back every year pretty much because I hit Icon. But for the other agents that weren't hitting it, they had to conform to this 80-20 model even though it wasn't fully beneficial for them, right? And what I mean by that is the 80-20 model is truly beneficial for the agents that were reaping the benefits of revenue share, such as myself. You know, I, when I left, I was probably making about $1,000 to $1,500 a month in revenue share from the agents I've sponsored and helped grow their business. But what about the other agents that were just closing one to four deals, right? They were still paying that 20, uh, that 20% cap. Uh, the 20% towards the $16,000 cap. And it just really didn't make as much sense to me. And even when the new models, the newer models came out, it just didn't make sense to leave for a similar model. And then until I saw LPT Realty with the first hybrid compensation model that still offered revenue share and as well stocks, right? So for me, it really came down to what's more beneficial for everybody else. What's providing more value for your typical agent? What's providing value for your 88 to 90 something percent that fails within the first two years? That's what it came down to for me. Because eXp Realty, you know, the fees can start adding up. Out with their compensation setup, you've got the 80-20 with the $16,000 cap, and then you got your 149 startup fee, and then you got your $85 a month, right? For me, that's absolutely nothing. But for your typical agent that's just starting off, all these fees can start adding up. And you know this if you're an agent, especially if you gotta pay your MLS fees, your local real estate, uh, your realtor board fees, right? And then now you got the EXP fees on top of it. And, it, and when you're brand new too, you're under 60, 40 technically because you have to join under the mentorship program, right? And all this stuff just really starts adding up. And to me, with the new model, as I was saying, there's no startup fee, no sign-up fees, uh, no desk fee, no monthly fees, nothing. It just is super beneficial for an agent and they're providing marketing uh, material as well, all right? And this doesn't mean that eXp Realty is a bad model. It's just there was another model that came out that's improved upon eXp's model. 